This mitotic cell is one of many in a cell population. To study a process, such as cell division, requires finding many cells with similar behavior. We will show you how LASX Navigator helps you to efficiently image a few of these cells. With just one click, you can start the LASX Navigator. A quick spiral scan gives you an overview of the sample. The cells you see here were stained with three fluorophores targeting different proteins and cellular structures. This overview image works like a map. By clicking on the Navigator image, the microscope will bring you to any position you want. You can then zoom in, find, and select a particular region of interest. In this case, a mitotic cell. Mitosis is a rare event, and without an overview, it will be difficult to spot where this happens. In Navigator, you can continue selecting as many mitotic cells as you need. These regions populate the task list. Once you have all regions defined, you can image them at nanoscopy resolution using STED. Before starting the acquisition, let's choose one of the regions in the task list to set up the Z-Stack. This can be done at a single channel by defining the beginning and the end position. This setting can then be applied to all regions. Alternatively, you can define a Z-Stack for each region individually. The acquisition of the entire tasks can now start. Here, a confocal and a tausted image are being acquired sequentially. Using tausted with multiple stead lines, you can obtain 3D information on the mitotic events at a resolution well beyond the diffraction limit. We can hence clearly identify particular players in this process. Here, we see the distribution of CENPC, shown in yellow, and BUB1, in magenta, and their relation to the mitotic spindle organization, here in cyan. A second example shows again the advantage of Navigator, helping researchers with a view of the relationship between individual objects and the entire sample. LASX Navigator is an integral tool in Stellaris that greatly facilitates the exploration of samples and to find as many relevant objects as needed in a given experiment.